recursive routing problem. In this video, I am going to talk about recursive routing problem. This problem can be, in, can be uh, for example, happen when we have GRE tunnel means point-to-point -point GRE tunnel or we have MGRE means multi-point GRE. Actually, this is possible in the DMVPN network. But here we are uh, learning about this problem with simple scenario, uh, for example, with the GRE point-to-point -point tunnel. But this is happening also in the MGRE in the DMVPN. Look at here. Here we have a simple scenario. In this simple scenario, we have one underlay, rotor 1, rotor 2, and rotor 3, and we have configured OSPF on the underlay. And also, I have configured GRE tunnel between the rotor 1 and rotor 3 because of that, we have this overlay, the blue line is the our overlay because of that actually we have one link between the rotor one and rotor three let me to show you it is so easy to understand actually we have one network connected to the rotor one and then here we have uh, other uh, networks this is gre tunnel connected to the rotor three and then to this network this is our overlay okay and here i have used the uh, for example 10 uh, 100 slash 24 this is the fast ethernet 01 and also here we have tunnel 0 and on this tunnel 0 this is gre tunnel actually and here we have used 10 130 slash 24 okay and then in the rotor 3 again this is tunnel 0 and also here we have fast ethernet 01 also this is fast ethernet 01 okay and this is connected to the uh, 10300 slash 24 actually this network is our overlay network but you can see also the underlay let me to show you the routing table of rotor 2 look at here in the rotor 2 we will have this routing table it is important to say that routing table of the rotor 2 uh, contains this information first we have a uh, multiple connected networks okay we have three connected network the first connected network is 10100 slash 24 and this is reachable over the fast ethernet 01 after that we have other connected network the uh, 10120 slash 24 over fast ethernet 00 look at here here we can see the interfaces fast ethernet 00 and also we have one other connected network 10 1 3 slash 24 over tunnel 0 okay tunnel 0 you know that here in the routing table we have some routes from the overlay and some routes from the underlay actually uh, for example this is for overlay this is for underlay okay or transport network other name of underlay is the transport network also this is for overlay okay after that here we will have one eigrp learn route because i have configured eigrp between the rotor one and rotor three here we have eigrp on the overlay and the overlay yes because of that we will have one eigrp learn route from the rotor three for the 10300 slash 24 and then it is received uh, over the tunnel zero okay tunnel zero and also the next stop is 10 one three three that's it after that this you know that this is again for overlay and after that we have one ospf learn routes ospf learn routes is the 10230 slash 24 over the fast ethernet 00 and the next stop is the 10122 this is the routing table of the rotor one okay and i'm going to explain what is happening when we have this routing table until now we don't have any problem okay and here we have one packet this is the packet we are sending from this network from the lan of rotor one to the lan of rotor three let me to show you what is happening for example it is our data and the source ip is 10101 destination ip is 10303 okay you know that rotor one should verify okay the destination ip with the routing table of itself because of that here we are we are using we are comparing the destination ip with the routing table here we have one record 10300 slash 24 and the traffic can match with this record here you can see we should use tunnel zero and then the next stop is 10133 also tunnel zero is a gre tunnel for tunnel zero we have configured some specification for example we know about the tunnel source 
The tunnel source is 10, 1, 2, uh, 1. Okay, the IP address of the facet and 0, 0 of router 1. And also here we have destination. Destination of this tunnel is the 10, 2, 3, 3, the IP address of the router. Three, okay because of that and also the tunnel mode is GRE because of that here when R1 receiving this packet it should encapsulate the packet with GRE header this is GRE header and then here we are forwarding it with the source IP of 10.1.2.1 destination IP is 10.2.3.3 that's it this packet is receiving by the rotor 2 rotor 2 easily can forward it to the rotor 3 after the encapsulation the rotor 3 can forward the packet to the to this network it is so easy this is normal behavior okay now let me to explain what is happening when we have recursive routing a uh, problem what is the meaning of recursive routing problem let me to explain it here you know that we are configuring ospf on the underlay and also we are configuring eigrp on the uh, for example overlay actually we can say about the underlay routing protocol and o and overlay routing protocol we don't have any relation both of them are independent you can configure for example eigrp on the underlay and eigrp on the overlay or ospf on the underlay ospf on the overlay or other different methods okay but they uh, these two routing protocol are different routing protocols for example about the eigrp we are configuring two eigrp instance okay what is happening when we are configuring for example this overlay routing protocol on one of the interface of underlay okay this is happening in many times this is so common okay let me to explain it look at here you know that we have learned 10230 slash 24 means this network from the ospf previously now we have eigrp enabled on this interface on the in rotor trees fast ethernet zero zero interface okay and because of that in the rotor one now we will receive 10230 slash 24 network from eigrp also actually in the rotor one okay now we have two entry for 10230 slash 24 let me to write here here we, ha we are receiving from ospf 10230 slash 24 with the next stop of 10122 and also we are receiving from eigrp about the 10230 slash 24 the next stop is 10133 over the uh, tunnel zero okay you know that the administrative distance of eigrp is 90 and the administrative distance of ospf is 110 and this means that the eigrp route is the better pass or is this it is the best pass because of that in the routing table of the router one now we don't have the ospf learn routes we have eigrp learn routes for the 10 to 30 slash 24 over the uh, tunnel zero okay and also the next stop of 10 1 3 3 okay this is the problem that we have what is happening when you have this uh, for example line in the routing table when the traffic is receiving to the uh, rotor one the destination ip is 10 3 0 3 again this traffic okay after uh, comparing with the routing table should forward over the tunnel zero okay and in the tunnel zero you know that again we should use the gre header okay and then source ip is 10 1 2 1 destination ip is 10 2 3 3 that's it okay uh, and now again we should search this destination ip inside the routing table this is recursive lookup okay and here as you can see 10 2 3 0 slash 24 reachable over the tunnel zero actually here we cannot forward it you know that tunnel zero is not physical outgoing interface it means that we should encapsulate this packet yes we have ex encapsulated the packet to the 10 2 3 3 to the uh, with, with gre header and from 10 1 2 1 and 10 2 3 3 actually we cannot use this record for forwarding the traffic and this is the recursive routing problem means means when you want to use recursive routing okay you cannot do it okay, but previously when we had ospf we can forward it to over the fast ethernet zero zero after when uh, after this 
problem when we have this problem automatically the interface tunnel zero will shut down okay because we cannot forward the traffic to the uh, 10233 actually the tunnel zero doesn't work and the tunnel zero is going to the down state this is our problem you should ensure that you don't enable the uh, igp of the overlay and the underlay if you configure igp of overlay and the underlay you will receive 